Hello everyone and welcome back to another Art of Conquest episode. As usual, your host, Legend Rooney, I'm here with another video. As a request, I know I already have this video, already some people saw it. It's all about the research, it's all about efficiency, spending resources and all that. I just want to redo this video as I reach Castle level 37, I have unlocked all the Academy level. And I was thinking to do a much better video, explain it better from low level till high level, give my advices, my tips, like usual. Now, before we start with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if there is anything I can help you, please drop a comment in the comment section below. And if you do like this video, drop a like for your boy Legend Rooney. Now, shout out to server 50. I received your message. You sent your love to me. Now I'm sending my love to you. Love you all. Thank you for your appreciation. And I'm happy that you guys find my videos helpful. As I mentioned, research. Exactly. Now let's go to research. But before research, I just want to show you something, give you some tips and advices. As I mentioned before, why castle level is so important. You can see this player. This player is in my house. I never talk with him about it. We never talked about this. You can see his castle level 32. You can see his wall is very low level. It's probably 11 or, or 12. And let me show you something. His castle level 32. And he stopped playing 27 days ago. He did exactly the same thing as I do. So what I'm trying to explain you is that it is possible to get higher in castle level. Like I am trying to show you in all my video, in all my tips. So he's away. He could have been at least 35 or 36. He was always one level lower than me in castle level. I just want to show you it's possible. I just want to show you that others are getting there. And not to go further. There is another player, Knight, who's following who's following my tips. He's level 34, he's probably upgrading to level 35, so he's one, two levels behind me as well. So it is possible. Everything that I'm trying to say, it is possible. Castle level has a priority. Now, back to our research. Let's say you just started the game, you are low, low level, you just did your first level of academy. You are looking at all these troops and you probably don't know which one to go for. You see the spearmen, you think about the Lo Roman legionnaires, they were forming that formation, that thin can that nothing was going through. And as I see many players going with them as their highest level research troop, I will say that is wrong. That is reality. This is the game. It's two different things. Your first priority and highest research troop is the archer. The second one, my advice, is the lancer. The reason I'm saying this and you should have your main focus all the time on two troops is because of this. When you are lower level, the bronze and gold capacity they are very limited so you probably have around 200 bronze or let's say 300 bronze or uh, silver i'm sorry or something like that and you cannot have all the troops that i have right now until you get higher in castle level until you have more heroes until you unlock more ranks and you have a higher troop capacity you should focus only on two troops Now, Archer is the troop I advise that you should keep your main focus on. This is your main damaging unit. 
And as you can see, not every research is important. The ones that EOCI marks them out, these are very important research for them, or especially the ones that, that cost the resource that you have the most, like I do, I have a lot of Elixir. You can see all of them that I marked them out, but obviously there are priorities, for example, like this research for them, which increase their attack rating. And then this one, which gives them another 20% attack rating. And you can see I didn't focus on resource reduction or resource cost. And the reason I haven't I haven't done that because it's much more important to do more damage than spending less resources on training troops. You do more damage, you plant the more resources, it's more easy to, to plant the resources and taking down the garrison. Again, you can see this research cost elixir, which I have a lot. And now here it comes uh, when it's about resource management. Time is the most important resource. Even in real life, time is the most important re resource. You cannot just go and spend on research just because you have the highest amount of, of resources in that. You need to focus on the research that you need the most. And now this one I'm focusing on, you need level 34 castle to unlock this one and you need level 37 castle to unlock this one, which is the last one. This one is not so important. The reason you can see 10 from 30 or a general of 10 and 5 in most of them, that's because the research time is very, very low. And just to put a few points in them, that is helpful. Once you maximize the damage on your archers, then you can go to your second troop, which for me is the lances. And again, you can see just 10, 15. I'm not gonna click on them because you can click on them as well if you're human. And now you might think about why I'm not raising the lancers damage and why am I doing the Lancer's defense, which this one is defense, reduce the damage taken by Lancers, Crusaders and Templars. First reason is the time it requires to upgrade the second one. It requires wood, which I need for the archers to upgrade the speed of the archers and make my main DPS unit even more powerful. The second thing Lancers, Crusaders and Templars, I consider them as tanking units. That means they are the unit that will take your damage. And that's why I advise even in lower levels to use Lancers, Crusaders, Templars and Archers in everything. Until level castle 27, Lancers were my main tanking unit. I was using archers and lancers everywhere, even in taking down castles everywhere. I was using lancers and archers and they helped me go through everything. But as a side note to mention, I did bought Elena as my first purchase hero, which was $9.99. And that increased the lancers output quite a lot. So again, resource management, don't just, just go gun blazing and research everywhere focus the resources you have and spend them properly on the research that is mo most important so again reducing the the cost of the troops that is not not efficiency that is not spending resources efficiency you need to make enough resources so you don't need those research. Now the second troop, the third, this is the Lancers are the second troop. Now the third troop that I advise are the footmen. And the fourth troop that I advise is the spearmen. The footmen become very, very efficient after castle level 29. At castle level 29, you can make your footmen or legionnaire. You can upgrade them to level 10. As you can see, again, healing, I didn't 
spent time it takes eight hours or more this is garrison duty i don't have that many footmen in the garrison duty so again reducing their cost not needed increasing their damage yes when I don't have resources for archers or when I don't have resources for uh, for the lancers, I come and invest in the footman. And as a general, as I mentioned, I do the 10 points in each research when I unlock it because the time is it's very, very low and having something extra on the resource, on the troops that, that you use, it is important. For example, this one, decreased damage received by food muscle, not a 10% reduced damage. That's very good. Again, this is health, some extra health, especially at higher levels, that is very good. And there's a general thing for all the, the troops. You probably notice that the first five, some on some, the, the first seven, I've researched them all because it's only 10, 15 points in, in each, which the, the time consumption is, is quite low. For example, level 12 to 13, it's eight hours, which is quite all right. Especially if you watch my video about how to, how to use the cities, the city bonuses, there are city bonuses that gives you 10% reduce research so whenever you want to start a research like archers for example you can you can see on this research it takes three days and four hours to get into level 26 and after 26 there are four more levels so obviously it's going to be a lot more time so every 10 percent you can reduce from this before you start the research that's going to help you a lot now the fourth troop I would say is the spearman. At the beginning, I would advise you, if you're at the, at the beginning levels, I would advise you to level up spearman quite a bit, at least the first, the first four. You might even use the centurion even a little bit. And the reason I'm saying this is because of those world bosses, those dragons that you have to slay as you can see here on the Centurion, even the Hoplit, they have this deal heavy damage to large and massive units, counters the battle charge of cavalry units. So this will help you a lot in clearing those those dragons. The, ho the Spearman, the Hoplits, and if you want to train some Centurions. You can see, it, uh, Spearman is my, my fourth unit I'm investing in. You can see there is nothing max, maxed out. It's just 10, 10, 10 because the time, the time consumption to upgrade them was quite low as well as the resources. For example, 27k wood to go to level 11. To go to level 10 was probably around 23k or something like that. So that's why my main focus is on archers and lancers because it takes quite a lot of time to maximize any troop in the research. Priestess. I found them useful at the beginning, but once they up update the game with this kind of research tree, I would say the priestess became quite useless. Some might counter me because of Holy Blast. The heal ability of Priestess, Abbesses and Saints grants 2 seconds of poison immunity. So they might be, if you have Leech problem, this might be very, very helpful against Leech. Saints, troops healed by mass heal ability by Saints gain poison immunity for se 7 seconds. So the whole group of the troops that you will heal with the Saints mass heal ability they will get a poison immunity. So against Leech, this troop might be very, very good. I don't have any Leech problem in my, my server and above, except Leech, I started to find, it, to find them very useless later on in the game. 
And the reason I would say in general they, they become uh, useless is because this ability, which I unlock it on this research, you unlock it only on cast level 34, increased healing rating of priestess, abbesses, and saints. So in order to improve their healing, to to make them do a bit more healing, you only cast a level 34. And by and after cast a level 30, the only heal you need is Vegas heal. Everything else you need pure damage. So you can start the moral chain boost. You can see I did I did this because I have quite a lot of group of saints in my garrison and I didn't want to disband them. So I prefer to invest a little bit of time and do this and make them a bit stronger in the garrison. Which it also costs elixir. But it's not a priority. And I don't find saints very, very good in the garrison, to be honest. Now siege is my fifth unit that I invest in. And... Priestess are my sixth. So it's archers, lancers, footmen, spearmen, siege, and priestess. Now, because I al already have unlocked the royal hammer when this update with this uh, new research came in. They already had to unlock it for me because you already see I have only five points in it. And you would wonder why is it unlocked? We had it unlocked before the update. So obviously when the update came in, they had to unlock it as well for us. For, for sieging units, you do not need health. You do not need help because once they start taking damage, that's basically you lost. So having some extra health will make no difference or doing ability that reduce their damage on sieging. It's also not very helpful or this one is pretty useless because Royal Hammer deal bonus damage. This is specific for Royal Hammer and Royal Hammer takes gold capacity. My opinion, that is not very, very helpful. The silver ones. Mangonel, yes, they are very, very helpful for sieging. But the Royal Hammer, it cost a lot. It cost insane. I find them very, very useless. Now, very imp important research for um, for your sieging unit is this one. 50% crit. And the bonus is 10% attack speed. The next important one is this one. Attack damage with bonus now that 20% attack rating. And then as you can see, just 5 points, 10 points, 10 points. Reduce the damage taken as I mentioned. You can see I, it's 1 hour and 22 minutes. I can easily do a few more levels of this. But it's really useless because once they, they target your, your, your sieging units, it's almost over. So just... It resumes to time management, resource management, everything that I'm trying to, to mention in all the videos. So this is all I have to do about research. First levels, archers, lancers, very important. Have as many as many of them. Lancers in the front, archers in the back. Then you can probably do another one, two groups in the back of lancers between your heroes. I was using this setup with just archers and lancers. I was using it everywhere. Dueling, sieging, taking down garrison, everything up to level 27. After level 27, things got changed a little bit. I had to use sieging units as archers were doing a lot more damage. And now I have some very old replays. So someone asked me, how do you counter
how do you counter that add I? No, I think it's this one. So someone asked me how you counter the dead eye. So this is how you counter the dead eye. As you can see, just dead eye and shooters. Vega favor. So all the criticals they are doing is next to useless. Swordsman, just take it all. Obviously, some of them die. But once all of all of the dead die are down, you have Virion, and you can see resurrect. And that's about it. But now to show you some highly trained dead eye. Just three groups, level nine, just one level above. And I, I had a few injuries. And I used Virion Resurrect. So I brought back 20 swordsmen and I still have 1, 2, 3, I still have 6 injuries. So these 3 groups managed to take down 26 swordsmen. And this is why swordsmen is my, my third is my third unit I'm working on right now. Because they are very very strong in sieging. For example, this one, you see level 9 archers. I was expecting Templars, I just was not expecting 4 groups of Templars. You can see I had quite some, some losses and some injuries. And I didn't use the Seraph. But again, Swordsmen in the front, in the end they did the job got the defense down so that's why swordman is my third unit now this is my advice for for research as i unlocked all all the the research as, at level 37 castle i believe this was helpful if you find this helpful again please drop a like if there is anything i could help you please drop a comment until next time this is legend rooney over and out